Hello everyone, this is Placed, and welcome to the full guide on the Shaolin. I was given access to the technical test, and even more so, permission to record footage for you guys all to enjoy. I will be going over the beginner, advanced, and expert moveset on the character to show all the stages of depth that the Shaolin has to offer. With that being said, let's get right into it. first thing we're going to be looking at on the Tiandi is his infinite chain. His infinite is performed by doing a light, then a heavy, and then a light and a heavy, and keep doing that over and over again. You can change which direction as you so please to do the infinite. This is a great way of starting a fight, as it, you can tell and test the waters of how your opponent will react to your attacks. Next we're going to learn about the Shaolin's heavy into heavy combo. This is another basic combo that can do a lot of damage if both heavies land. You can feint each heavy whenever you so please. Next we are going to look at the Shaolin's triple light ability. If you land a light on the opponent, quickly press the light attack one or two more times to quickly do more light attacks on the enemy. The second and third light is guaranteed. Next we're going to look at the Shaolin's monkey trick ability. Perform this by pushing down on the left stick and one light attack when your guard is at the top stance. This will perform a quick light attack that will push you back and will keep range and is really good for stopping enemies from winding up attacks from a distance. Next up is Shaolin's dodge forward heavy. This is a very good move on stopping enemies from trying to get away from you, but it's also good at mixing up some other things down the line as you can feint this ability if you so please. Next we're going to look at a dodge side heavy for the Shaolin. If you do a dodge and then heavy at the same time, you will perform a side heavy that has a blue trail which means that this is an undodgeable attack. An undodgeable attack is an attack that if you try to dodge away, this will catch you. The first combo we're going to look at for the Shaolin is the dodge forward heavy into side light. The side light is really fast that comes after the heavy, so it's usually guaranteed most of the time. Next we're going to look at the Shaolin's running attack. To perform this, run at an enemy unlocked and then press the guard break button and you'll perform a kick that if you use a light attack right after, it should be guaranteed. Next we're going to look at the Shaolin's zone attack. To perform a zone attack, press light and heavy at the same time. This will make the Shaolin do three swings in sequential order and will have hyper armor on the second and third hit. You can also feint the second and third hit to go into neutral stance to do whatever you want after that. That includes the beginner move set for the Shaolin. Although it doesn't seem like there's many combos to learn from this character, keep in mind that this is all from neutral stance. There's another stance that is known for the Shaolin and that is the key stance, which we'll be going over in the advanced move set. For those who want to know what lies beyond for the Shaolin, here is the advanced move set. To get into the key stance, press and hold down heavy or light attack. When you go into key stance, there are many new moves that open up for this character and the window becomes way bigger. The first move we're going to be looking at is while in key stance, press down the light attack or release the light attack depending on which key stance you're in. The top light attack will stun the opponent while the side right and left will just simply do a light attack. The next move we're going to be looking at is while you're in key stance, let go of the heavy button on the side or press the heavy button depending on your key stance and you'll perform an undodgeable side attack. Next we're going to look at Shaolin's kick. When you're in key stance, press the guard break button and you'll perform a kick, which will guarantee a light attack afterwards. Next we're going to look at the Shaolin's top unblockable attack. Perform this by going into key stance and then doing a heavy attack from the top. This attack can also be feinted. The first combo we're going to be looking at is doing a heavy then a heavy feint into triple light. The next combo we're looking at is a key stance kick into sweep triple light. 
The way to perform the sweep is after you do a kick, immediately press guard break afterwards and you'll do a sweep, which will guarantee a light. The next combo we're looking at is a key stance kick into top unblockable. This is a really fast unblockable that can really mess with your opponents. The next one we're looking at is the Shaolin's Zone Faint into Guard Break. This will confuse the enemy to make you think that you're going to commit, and there's a very small window to parrying the zone, which when you faint it, will make them think it might be coming out. So they'll try to parry it, you can get a Guard Break, and then go for a heavy attack afterwards. That concludes the advanced moveset for the Shaolin. Keep in mind that this is barely any of the combos being shown from what the character can truly show off. I am just giving a basic example of what the character can do. Moving on, we're going to be going on to the expert moveset where you can take Shaolin's potential and put it to the fullest. For those who want to know what the Shaolin can truly offer on the battlefield, here is the expert moveset. The expert moveset is where, in my opinion, the Shaolin really starts to get interesting. The Shaolin also has a deflect. Perform it by dodging into the attack instead of a parry and holding down the heavy attack to go into a key stance. The Shaolin also has a crushing counter strike. While in key stance, use a light attack in the direction of your opponent's attack to perform a crushing counter strike. The first combo we're going to be looking at is performing a deflect, going into key stance, then doing a top unblockable on the enemy. The next combo we're going to be looking at is doing a heavy, going into key stance, fainting the top unblockable, then going into a triple side light or double side light to put yourself back into key stance. The next set of combos we're going to be looking at is go for a deflect, then go into key stance, do a Shaolin kick, and then open up into many different things after that. The reason why I'm suggesting going for deflects more than just simply going into key stance is because deflecting the opponent, then heavy attacking them into key stance is far more confusing than simply doing a key stance attack. The next combo we're going to be looking at is Shaolin's Hidden Infinite. After you go and hit an enemy and go into key stance, perform the Shaolin kick, then the sweep, and then you'll get a free light. However, if you do one to two lights and hold the second light or first light, you will go into key stance again, allowing you to go for another Shaolin kick, sweep, and then repeat. You can also mix this up and go into multiple different combos during your key stance halfway through to mix up with your opponent. Really quick, we're going to look at Shaolin's Heavy Faint technique. This is something I like to call the Darth Maul technique, as you'll be fainting multiple times over, confusing your opponent on what you're going to be doing next, and then you can surprise them with a quick light attack or heavy attack afterwards. Now we are going to look at the Shaolin's Out of Stamina Max Punish. When the enemy is out of stamina, throw them behind you, then do a heavy attack, and then hold down for key stance and do a top unblockable. If you do the top unblockable, they can get a guard break out of you though. That is about it for the expert moveset. Please keep in mind, as I said earlier, that this is barely showing the surface of what this character is capable of. This is just a basic understanding of what this character can do. Every single combo that I showed prior can all be moved further into mo more attacks and more combos like none other. This character is very versatile with many different moves and everything works in conjunction with each other. With that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy, hope you guys did learn something, and I'll see you all in the next video. I wanna be